Recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA, it's the William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery and the devious Casey Rocket. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Jr. Dancers. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Casey Rocket. And now here he is, the big red machine, the Memphis Strangler, William Montgomery. That um, wine guy just got died. I, I saw that. He got eaten by a shark. Yeah. I saw that too. <sighs> and he was in Hawaii 5. Oh, the big island. He was in so many shows. And also the movie with Captain Jack Sparrow. Yeah, he was one of the pirate's friends. And then he <laughs> fucking died. <laughs> it's one of the pirate's friends. <laughs> <laughs> one of the pirate's friends. <laughs> so scary. He was actually close friends with Captain Jack Sparrow. And unfortunately, that led to his death on the island of Tortuga. Yes. Island of turtles, tortoises. Don't go out at night there. Uh-uh. Do not go out at night. Some of the turtles are bigger than you remember. Yes. And they will take you into the ocean <laughs> at night. And that's probably the scariest place it's time to be in the ocean is at night. You can open your eyes and it'll still be just as dark down there. Yeah, it's like I don't even want to put my leg in the ocean at night. <laughs> Grant, are we recording? We are. We're, we're oh, that going. was pretty funny. Uh, oh, good. my gosh. Yeah, good. Good. We're being funny already, man. I know. Oh, we weren't even trying. Sorry, Bretta. Grant, what would you do if you got eaten by a shark? For a hundred bucks, Grant. What if I paid a hundred? Guess I would die. <laughs> what if I paid a hundred sharks a buck to eat your ass? <laughs> would you get in the ocean? Like, are they actively hunting me? <laughs> for a dollar each. What would you do? Would you feel like it's too little? I paid them. Like, what size are these sharks? No. Would you be offended that Casey only had to pay him a dollar to pretty much kill you? Would that be an offensive number for you? Would you hope that number would be higher for the value of your life? I mean the exchange rate. I, I, I imagine it's, it's still. Dude, we're not we're not on the big island, so don't be talking about exchange rates. We're talking about Hawaii. Money. Well, Grant's right. Inflation is a lot bigger on the big island. So a yeah, dollar. Fair enough. All right, I'd pay him a Hawaiian dollar, which is like two U.S. It's like a euro, basically. It looks like a Chuck E. Cheese coin. <laughs> Their money over there. <laughs> like yeah. a Chuck E. Cheese coin. And not the Euro fully lamb meat, Grant, with your fat ass. Grant, you were looking thick in those freaking things you were wearing, those sweatpants shorts you were wearing today. <laughs> Is it, is it juicy on the back? He has these cargo yeah. sweatpants shorts he's wearing today. God, sweatpants shorts. Where do you get off? That's so. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I, I, I did a quick turnaround on that. That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> it's probably hot, though, isn't it? It's real hot in, in Austin now. It's probably hot getting into your Corvette <laughs> with the leather on those pant, the sweatpants. and how, So I don't know how you do it. Yeah, it's uh, it's very sweaty. <laughs> yeah, I don't envy you, man. I, I have to turn the temperature down in here quite a bit to to kind of regulate. We're freezing. Yeah, it's pretty cold. Yeah, but I feel good. Okay. Well, that's what's most important. Yeah. Yeah, notice Mike isn't here again today. This is two <laughs> days in a row we've been here. Mike isn't here again. <laughs> something weird's going on. Erica, something weird's going on yeah. with Mike. Know. I don't think we need to look into it. Mm, you should have been here yesterday, Erica. Grant, we walked in, and he had these little red dots on his shirt. And I said, is that blood? And he said, no, I was painting the green room. And I said, the green room? This isn't a club. And he said, the, the red room. I was painting the red room. And <laughs> yeah. you could tell that he was lying. <laughs> yeah, it's the craziest. Mm. It's like, what, what were you planning? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, but you, how did you think you would get away with it? I don't know. Yeah, you didn't think we were going to notice the room was now red? <laughs> it's not even red, it's blue. Yeah, for now. <laughs> yeah, when are you going to paint again today? <laughs> <laughs> After we expose your secret, you're going to be painting three rooms to bury three bodies. Yeah, how are your daughters doing with your wife out of town? <laughs> Where's are they doing this okay? conversation going? <laughs> we're just curious. <laughs> Uh, I was more talking about the murder, Grant, but I want to know your family's safe. Yeah, they're fine. Cool. Would they're you fine. let them watch, I, I, like, stay up last night or something? Uh, you know, we act, I, um, I w had them watch The Dark Knight or Batman Begins with me. 
yesterday. You had them. What, did they not want to watch it? Well, they're, they're <laughs> young. They, 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 they don't know any better. They just watch, you know, silly YouTube shows like William Montgomery <laughs> Show if they had their druthers. They so. love the show. Oh, my gosh. They're big fans. Big fans. What's up, girls? What's up, girls? <laughs> Your dad heard a man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dad heard a man. I don't know if he killed him yet, but we haven't seen him. They don't need to hear that part. <laughs> Wait, so did they like the movie? Uh, yeah, they thought it was great. That's exciting. So you got to watch. The, it was the first time them watching the Batman movie, and you got to watch it with them. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Next up, Jurassic Park. <gasps> I already did that. Uh-oh. Check Hold that one pick. off, too. Your pick, Casey. My pick? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. The salamander lunch. <laughs> oh, the salamander lunch. <laughs> I don't know if they're old enough for that yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's the scariest movie I ever saw as a kid. It's Brendan Fraser and Matthew McConaughey, and they get a pet salamander, and his eyes are totally CGI. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's just, was that early CGI? Was mm-hmm. that early? Oh, damn. I could tell. I could just see the green screen, and I kept asking my dad, he's not real, right? My dad would not answer me. <laughs> well, that's cool, Grant. Jurassic Park, were they scared? Uh, Not not much. I remember it being a lot scarier when I was a kid then. I guess it is. <laughs> yeah, I was scared of it. It was really scary. It was super scary. Super scary. Cr- Did somebody sc- make it a kite? Yeah. <laughs> mute. Don't mute us. Grant? Grant? G? You guys are good. Oh. God, I remember flying a kite, Casey, down in Destin, Florida one time, and I've stuck a bunch of the big spools together. I was able to time together, so it was up. I don't even know how high. <laughs> you, could be, you couldn't even see it anymore. And then a storm rolls in, and I start getting, like, electric shocks in it, and I was having to hold what? the thing by the sand so it wouldn't be shocking me, and I just had to let it go. <laughs> I think I could have gotten hit by lightning or something. Can it travel down the lightning room? I don't know. I don't know. I swear I started getting a, a, a like a static electricity shock. It was very weird and popping noises, and then I just had to let it go. Whoa. That could have been dangerous, maybe. Yeah. I know. I know. I dodged a bullet on that one. That's how Ben Franklin discovered electricity. He had a key tied to a kite. And what did the key... So what did the key do? The key was just so the lightning would hit it, or the key was down... Was the key at the top or the bottom? And also, what did the experiment prove? <laughs> yeah, how did he get electricity yeah. from that? <laughs> it proved that lightning was electric? I think we knew that, bitch boy. Yeah, <laughs> people have been hit by lightning before that. I mean... Yeah, oh. which a bald ass. It's crazy that he... Th- well, I guess the key was a conductor, right? There he is. So is the top. Yeah, what does that prove? Oh, my God, there's lightning. All right, how do you harness it? Dumb. Yeah. <laughs> dumb. Just a fucking idiot. I think most of those people back in the 1700s were just dumbasses. <laughs> were fucking idiots. Just a bunch of idiots. Fucking wooden teeth. Didn't George Washington have wooden teeth? You know it. That's so gross. God. God, and he ate cherries out of a tree and chopped it down. There he is. Oof. That's how he passed. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right, and that's the biggest part of the story. It's like he died. Yeah. How, why is he <laughs> credited we, with anything with electricity? The guy died during his experiment. <laughs> I know, that's not very ambitious. It was probably just a, a suicide attempt. No shit. <sighs> it's crazy. It's the same thing happened with the super soaker guy. <laughs> yeah. He ended up dying from mm, Well, he put a He put a timer on the trigger of the super soaker and he went to sleep with his mouth open and so after like an hour when he hit REM sleep it went off <laughs> filled his belly <laughs> burst it's like these TikToks I see Erica watching these TikToks sometimes or she's just going through it and it's these people in some other country and they're acting all scared and it's like this giant looking just water balloon and people are like tipping and the water balloon they keep on Yeah, and they keep on counting up to 10. It's like the craziest thing. I'll watch it for a little while. It's insane. I don't I still haven't seen one pop in real time. I want to see one pop. These balloons or whatever they are get giant. Why are they counting? I don't know. I don't know. Is that it, Erica? 
No, it doesn't look like that. There's just a big old balloon above them, and they're like laying on a muddy on the muddy ground somewhere. It's very strange. <laughs> I got more of this lady, though. What is she doing? Is she know. going to a lake? She should not go in the she water with that in. thing on. Yeah, especially if that's filled with water. I wonder if that's filled. Would she sink? She I would think she sink. would sink. She would sink like a damn stone. Ugh. Unless she has a little knife in there to pop. <laughs> yeah. Do you have one of those things in your car, Casey, that if you ever went off of a bridge, you can hit it <laughs> and it knocks the, <laughs> the glass? Yeah. Yeah, I don't, but I've been in cars that... Do you have one? No, I've been thinking about getting one, because, yeah, you'd be in a real bad spot. <laughs> you never know. I always think I'd be able to roll the window. Like, I would have the wherewithal to be like, whoops, going off. <laughs> and I would, <laughs> I would roll have it, it down. down really quickly. And then be getting your seatbelt off. Yeah. you got to get your seatbelt off. And I'd wrap it around my neck so I made sure I died. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my, my parents could get the insurance money. <laughs> and I'd say it was on a business trip, so it pays out double... Damn. I know. That's interesting. It seems like that would make insurance companies go bankrupt doing that deal on those life insurance policies where if you die on the business trip, it's double. Because as a self-employed person, I can always say it's business related. I would claim that. You'd have to. I mean, that's what's going on in Florida. That's why all the insurance companies are going fucking leaving Florida. That's why they're all going belly up. Yeah, it happens to people. Belly of the beast. <laughs> it's a cutthroat industry. Yeah, belly of the beast. Yeah, belly of the damn beast. Oh my gosh, Casey, have you seen the uh, <laughs> the thing for Nosferatu? Oh, I from just the guy saw that it. did the witch. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks so good, Willem Dafoe. Ooh, <sighs> literally shaking thinking about that vampire stopping by my front door. Yeah, it was a scary looking vampire, and it just shows his shadow. Hello. Uh, yeah. Why so serious? Yeah. <laughs> Does that Joker line? Did your kids see that, Grant? The no, jokers. we haven't seen the second one yet. Well, you should have started with the second one. The first one's pretty yeah. good. Should have gone <laughs> two, three, one. Yeah, I think that's what people normally <laughs> do with the Batman movies. That's the best watch order. That's what yeah. I do. The first one's kind of boring. Really? Nah, it's good. Uh, who's even in? Who's the bad guy in the first one? It's got Scarecrow. Ra's al Ghul and it's got a uh, Scarecrow. Scarecrow. Ra's al Ghul. I talked about that on Kill Tony once. Ra's al Ghul. <laughs> is, he a, is he a bad guy? <laughs> yeah. It's Will, It's uh, Liam Neeson, right? Mm hmm. I is. never liked it. I never liked that guy. Mm. Really? Hello, I'm Ra's al Ghul. Yeah. You have one minute to find your family. No, that wasn't <laughs> it. What was, <laughs> what was the stupid <laughs> movies he was in? Taken. <laughs> I swear, I'm not normally critical of, like, an actor or an actress, but I did not believe his fucking ass was doing all this shit with the families, was saving his family. I did not believe it. That's such a small amount of time, too. I've hidden your family. You have one minute to find him. Can I please have longer? Yeah. <laughs> please give me, like, five minutes to find him? No. One minute, or else they're gone forever. I swear to God. <laughs> yeah, is that what it is? When he takes his family, and he has to find them? Them or something. I swear to God, I'll keep them. You got like 20 seconds now. Ugh. That's not enough. <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> you should watch that with your kids. Yeah. Take it. Oh. Did you guys see the yeah. um, Bob Odenkirk one? Nobody. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that was good. Wait, what's that one? I have not. Oh, it's a. Uh, it's like Taken, but it's Bob Odin. Sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. I haven't you now. seen it. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> seen the trailer for Nosferatu, but not nobody. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. I th I bet your kids would like Taken, and then Grant, you could say, "I would do that for you." If you got Taken, I would do that for you. That is a pretty good line. Yeah, they'll remember that for yeah. the rest of their lives. I'd do that for you. <laughs> I'd they better give me more than one minute. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> Grant. <laughs> oh, gee. Mm. Oh, man. How are you feeling? <laughs> Sometimes I'm feeling a little overwhelmed, and I wake up a little mad, and the only way I know how to combat it is BetterHelp.com. BetterHelp.com has been a godsend for me. And Casey, it's weird you bring up the waking up, feeling weird in the morning, because I swear to you, 
if there's a chance throughout the day where I'm sending a weird text to somebody or calling somebody, really getting into it, it's in the morning. I get real mm-hmm. cranky in the morning. I get so upset. I'll wake up and I'll immediately start attacking those closest to me. <laughs> <laughs> I know because they're right there. You can just yeah. you, they can't they have nowhere to go. I know. I just start spewing <laughs> vitriol. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so vitriolic in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. But, you know, it's so easy to feel jealous of other people's lives, especially when they're showing off their new houses, flashy cars, and amazing relationships all over the Internet. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I wake up, I'm already in the bad freaking mood, get on Facebook, mm-hmm. and a buddy just bought a new freaking like <laughs> Stingray Corvette. It's like, okay, where's my loved one? I need to attack. <laughs> I what need is going to on? Lash out. And I start thinking about some of these new houses that my boys are buying, and I'm starting to look around and I'm going, somebody's got to get screamed at. Yeah, this is impossible. How are they affording these houses, <laughs> especially in this housing market? get right now but yeah therapy is an amazing uh, amazing tool to help you focus on what you want out of life instead of on what everybody else is doing yeah man i gotta tell you better help is amazing they're a hundred percent online you can schedule sessions whenever works for you and it's so easy to fit into your daily life and you can talk with your therapist by phone message or video call whatever makes you feel the most comfortable you have to feel comfortable Mm -hmm. life's about comfort and not about screaming at those you care about just fill out a quick questionnaire to get matched up with a licensed therapist and you'll be on your way to a happier life and i did that william and i've done through i've done two appointments now and I'm all smiles. How are they? Yeah. So how is it after the first one? The second one was good? The second one was good. My therapist, her name's Janet. And oh. she's really nice. Oh. <laughs> and she's a little bit older than me. And I thought, well, she's a good bit older than me. And I thought, maybe Janet won't get me. Turns out the questionnaire worked. She does get me. And she's been helping me a lot. So you fill out a questionnaire and it really gets what's going on. Mm-hmm. And then they get they max, match you with somebody like Janet. Yes, Find your Janet at BetterHelp.com. Stop comparing and start focusing with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash WMS today to get 10% off your first month. Shoo-wee. That's BetterHelp. H-E-L-P dot com slash WMS. William, what is a movie you want to watch with your kids? Oh. (sighs) Do what? Oh, Shining on Repeat. The Shining? (laughs) No, probably not that. Um, That was my kids. Whoa, that was a pop. Yeah. Sometimes I get worried I'm going to pop my neck and break my neck. I'll be right back, guys. Wait, Wait, Grant. What? Don't be scared about me popping my neck. Yeah, Yeah, it's weirding me out. It's weirding me out. I'll be right back. GG. Grant. Go on back, baby. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know what kind of movie. I don't know. I've been wanting to watch... uh, what is that with Jodie Foster where she's stuck in a room? Panic room? <laughs> yeah, panic room. I remember watching that with my aunt growing up. That was kind of a fun one. Yeah, and then one of the bad guys is somebody famous, and I can't remember who it is. You don't remember that, and I think Phone Booth came out at a similar time where he's just in the phone booth the with whole Colin time. Colin Farrell? Yeah, with yeah. Colin Farrell. Oh, God. Yeah, I know a lot about mid-2000s thrillers. Um <laughs> the others but that's more of a horror movie that's a good one. Oh, jared leto is one of the bad guys oh i we watched that i think during the pandemic panic room panic room mm-hmm. well when you click this actor i have to have grant pull this up but <laughs> i don't know what that's about mel rodriguez he has half a mustache and no, half he's a not hair. looking good we hope you're doing better mel Mel, we really, really like you a lot, and you look kind of sick in your picture online. Um, God, yeah, I'd like to watch Panic Room. It's good to show kids Jodie Foster early. A thousand percent before they realize that she's a lesbian, because some <laughs> kids don't. It they turns don't them it. off. When they yeah. shouldn't, it shouldn't no, at all, they obviously. Don't it shouldn't, so that you should get them to love her, and then once they watch like the fifth movie, you go, you know she's a lesbian. They go, huh, well... She seems like a nice woman. For sure. After you get it five, I mean, you got to get her playing Clarice. Yeah. It's a classic. They're going to love her after mm-hmm. Clarice. Taxi driver. She's in that. She's the young prostitute. Oh, yeah. The young prostitute. Yeah. Harvey Keitel plays a Cuban. I don't know whose idea that was. 
Man, Robert De Niro can do the pull-ups in that movie. I know. Remember when he starts working out? Every muscle must be tight. And then he has that cool gun that he freaking does out of yeah. his thing. <laughs> yeah. So cool. Ooh, and then just blasts everybody at the end. I don't know. That is pretty sweet. Yeah, he shoots that old freak's hand off, and he goes, Jody, you're coming with me. Yeah. And you're safe, too. If you've suffered enough trying to stretch itty-bitty teeny hats over your normalist buffalo head, it's time to treat yourself with the and, headwear. Yeah, and Casey, did, he said, buffalo head, I historically i have a big i have a big head i don't like admitting to it at first i didn't fit in i had to get a baseball helmet that adjusted growing up i had to share it with russell neenan's big ass he had the biggest head of the grade damn so we're talking i had a big ass head second but, in command yes i was second in command behind russell neenan he had a big old head uh but yeah i mean mammoth headwear was a game changer for me it allowed me to Really kind of let started my freak flag fly. I really started to fly. <laughs> that <laughs> big old head. Yeah, with the big head and the hats. and. Well, I was born with a big head, too. And Mammoth is for guys just like us. Mammoth headwear hats start at seven and three quarter inches wide. So even if your head is genuinely huge, you'll be able to find something that fits like a hat. And we're, and we're talking hats. We're talking trucker hats, beanies, snapbacks, sunglasses that will fit your big head without snapping in half. We need sunglasses as big-headed people. <laughs> the sun is even bigger to us. You think the sun's big to you? It's much bigger to us. Trust us. A thousand percent. Yeah, it's more space behind your eyes into your brain <laughs> that the sun is reflecting into. I mean, it gets hot in there sometimes. Yeah, our ocular cavities are twice as big as yours. And also be careful. I went to the dermatologist, uh -oh. and I and it didn't. I don't think the thing on my nose was cancer, but she's like, "Oh, have you been to the ophthalmologist recently?" I was like, "Why?" And she said, "Oh, because you can get the melanoma in your eyeball." And then what? I yeah, and then I start thinking, "Oh my God, my eye has been bothering me. What am I going to die of a melanoma in my eye?" So oh, no. wear that mammoth headwear. Don't get that melanoma in your eye. Mm -hmm. Never look at the sun again with mammoth headwear. They even have a line of performance hats, which are awesome to wear on a hike or a run, as long as you're not looking at the sun. Yes, keep your head down when you're biking, hiking, or running. Head to mammothheadwear.com and use code WMS for 15% off and free shipping on U.S. orders. That's mammothheadwear.com, code WMS, or click the link in our show notes. Give that giant head of yours the gift of Mammoth Headwear. Oh my gosh, Grant is back. I'm back. GG. I just had to go help move a table real quick. Took a little poop. Okay. Took, a, took a little brief move poop. Move a table. Move a table? What are you doing? Are you barricading in, the store? In the other. <laughs> you locked us in. <laughs> <laughs> Shit's going down outside, and uh, we need to keep you guys safe. He's sacrificing his life for us. Thank you, Grant. Like, taken. Yeah. <laughs> Just basically, I'm Liam Neeson. No big whoop. <clears throat> well, Casey, what do you think? Should we talk with, uh, should we do some calls today? I, would, I feel like it's been a little while. Yeah, I would like to. I would like to see what's up with the, with the freaks and beautifuls. Yeah, we got to see, yeah. Bring back my girls. <laughs> That's what RuPaul says on Drag Race. <laughs> Bring back my girls. And then what does RuPaul say <laughs> <laughs> at the end? You better work, bitch. <laughs> yeah. How are you gonna love yourself if you don't even wait, how are you gonna love Yeah, how are you how gonna you... how are you gonna love somebody else if you can't even love yourself? Can I get an amen? Yeah. <laughs> how are you never gonna love yourself if you can't what is it? I don't know. You better can, love me forever. How do you, can you love it? I don't know. So and she's like, so and so, you stay, and then the other one, <laughs> sashay away. Shantae, you stay. Yeah, Shantae, you stay, and then sashay away <laughs> when they have to leave. <laughs> he loves that show. <laughs> I used to watch it during the pandemic. It's good. It's good. Competition's fun. We That's went so to a nice. couple in Austin. Wait, really? Oh, yeah, yeah, we went fun. to a couple. You should go. Yeah, one of the people from the show. I was starstruck. La La Re. I was starstruck. We bought a t-shirt. I haven't worn it. Have you ever worn it? She I've does never a really worn good it. security skit. Yeah, her merch was the, security. or his, but whatever. It was the, <laughs> yeah, security. That's what it says on the shirt. 
<laughs> oh, because they do like comedy and stuff. Right? They have to be a little bit funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of them were funnier than others. Yeah, they do stuff in between the <laughs> dances and stuff, and then yeah, it was an experience. It's high pressure. Oh, I can't imagine. Yeah, I one c- of the local ones. She's so funny. We got to get her on the podcast. Celia Light. Oh my gosh, we got to get Celia. Oh, Light I would love that. On William the podcast. complimented her comedy and asked if she's ever done any stand up. Because she yep. was really funny. Yeah. Hilarious. Oh, I would love a to see that. A hosting type that's always there. Yeah. A hosting type. <clears throat> yeah. The hosting kind of drag. Yeah. <laughs> you guys ready for me to bring someone? Drag. It's not just for hosting anymore. Yeah, sure. First in and yeah. hosting. Okay. Um, oh my God, we should do the Davis dip for my 30th birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, I was thinking we could have a... D- <laughs> Why do you remember that? <laughs> and that's where the uh, stuff yeah. gets in your mustache. Yeah. Uh, it's funny. It's just a funny... Uh, what do you call when two words are sound similar? I don't know. Not an anagram. Alliteration. An alliteration. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the Davis Dip. Yeah, it's hilarious. Guy did a Davis Dip unwillingly in Phoenix when I was with Sugar Sean and Tim... And uh, <laughs> they asked me, they had like a coffee shop in their dojo and they made me some, or somebody gave me some sort of green matcha, some sort of drink. And he's like, oh, taste it real quick or something. And I go to do it and my fucking mustache gets all in the, it's way more foam. I didn't realize it was all foam. And I was wearing a white shirt and it just spills down the front of my shirt. So I'm walking around that place. Feel it, trying to feel kind of cool. It's just a cool environment with all this shit all over <laughs> my shirt. It was the stupidest thing. Hey, do you hear God. us? Yes, yes sir. sir. Oh, oh my gosh! The gaming crooner! He's got the gaming headphones oh, yes. on. We know it's you. I do. I got my whole setup right here. <laughs> we know it's you. He's gaming right Oh my now. gosh, what are you doing in a hotel room right now? Where are you? Oh, this is my room. This is my real room. You live in a Marriott. You live in a Marriott? <laughs> I live in a Marriott, yeah. My parents are the, the, dream. Uh, the Marriott's. Mr. and Mrs. Marriott? The gaming Marriott. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Are they doing better? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah they're, doing, they're doing all right. They, were you know, they so just got out of the hospital and, you know. Ooh, where Ever was that? Yeah. If we catch the guy who did that, he'll never see the light of day. Trust us. Seriously. <laughs> Just tell him to stop going to the freaking reservation casinos. Where was that? South Dakota? Yeah, yeah I think so. Gosh, it probably gets <laughs> cold there. It's a touchy, touchy <laughs> subject. I haven't really talked to him about it. Yeah, they need to stop doing that at the uh, Native American <laughs> reservation <laughs> casinos. It seems like yeah, a weird yeah, idea yeah. for them. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what their deal is. It's the wrong people to owe money to, dude. They will collect. Yeah, yeah I mean, they still use bow and arrows. Sometimes yeah. they still. I mean, be careful. They do collect, sure my, right? Yeah, yeah they, they, they collect. collect. I, think I think my dad's dad. niece still has a a, a uh, spearhead in it. Oh, oh, you gotta dig that out and send it to us. <laughs> yeah, please. I will. I will. <laughs> oh While he's sleeping, I'll go. I'll go <laughs> dig it out. Yeah, make like sure a spoon. he's anesthetized. Yeah, tape them down. Tape down his arms and legs and bodies before you do it so he doesn't move too much because yeah. it'll probably hurt. Yeah, you don't want to clip the arteries. He's a, he's a hard sleeper. He'll, he'll be all right. Oof. Your dad's so tired. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad's Casey, so I'm, I'm coming to see you in Philly uh, this Friday. Oh, Super cool. Excited. Yeah, a couple yeah. Of days. Oh, I'm stoked. I'll try to do some uh, new stuff. Should be fun. Yeah, it's, I'm bringing my girlfriend, and she... Doesn't, doesn't watch you as much as I do, but um, <laughs> I'm making her go. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's something in there for everyone. So yeah, oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah, yeah. She, <laughs> she knows what she's getting into. <laughs> It'll be fun. It'll be fun. That those were the best shows I've ever done. Was Philadelphia a couple months ago? So I'm excited to come back. Best shows ever. Awesome. I've, nice. I've never been to Helium, but I'm I'm very excited. Oh, it's rocking. We're gonna have a laugh. It's wonderful. Yeah, <laughs> that place is wonderful. Oh, it's so great. And everyone has fun. What What are you playing on now, Gaming Croon? Uh, I got my PlayStation 5 here, but I got um, my PC as well, so I kind of switch back and forth, but I do a little bit of streaming, so I use my PC for that, play on my PlayStation. Oh my gosh, well, you need to get one of these mini mm-hmm. Moo things, mini Moo you, whatever it's called. I, I know I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, they're so great. <laughs> they're wonderful. They sell them on a TikTok <laughs> shop. I, see, I get fucking ads for those all 
the time. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't want to like, hear that. <laughs> I thought it was our little secret. Yeah, I didn't want to hear they have, that. It's like a it's like a little emulator, right? Mm-hmm. You can play yeah. like looks like any a Game Boy Nintendo game ever. Yeah, or Game Boy game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my gosh, pick one of that. Do you think the people you could stream something like that, or would it work as good if you're if it's I've, showing a handheld thing? Or do does anybody yeah. stream using I've, a handheld I've seen, thing? I've seen people stream them like just their hands playing it. <laughs> but I've also seen people stream like the actual game. I don't. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, how would you get the feed on the TV? That. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe like a HDMI cord or something. <laughs> There's Ooh. no hookup. Yeah, we need to look into that because people might watch you and I, Casey, playing Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's dual streams. Ooh, wow. Grant, that was can a you big do that? Switch from from Diablo to Pokemon. What yeah. happened to uh, Diablo? Well, I got, <laughs> I had some good Samaritan who walked me through getting my druid, I think I was, something like just so powerful and it was very mm-hmm. exciting, but then it got to a point where it was just so powerful and I didn't even yes. need to look for anything else. It immediately <laughs> became boring. Like some of the, yeah. Some of the fun for me was like finding the the stuff and upgrading <laughs> your guy, but like once yeah. this guy was telling me everything to get, it like it I don't know. It there was only so much of that I could do after that. Yeah, I, that's that's how I was with Diablo 3 a long time ago, but yeah, after a while you just kind of it's like what the fuck else am I supposed to do? Maybe I need to play a new season. Isn't there yeah. a new season? There's a new season. Yeah, they, they do seasons now. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of people I know stopped playing that game. Um, but I mean, I, I played it for like an hour. I put, I dropped 70 bucks on it and played it for an hour. I was like, yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> oh, you didn't like it at all. <laughs> I, I liked it. I like Diablo games. I just, I, I have, would rather play other games. For sure. For I'm a sure. Big, I play a lot of Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. I've still, I don't think I've ever played for it. You ever play five nights at Freddy's? Oh man. Yes. That's scary. <laughs> that game scares me too much. Oh, it's so scary. Yeah. Back when it was, uh, oh my God, when it first came out <laughs> on fucking, I'm pretty sure it was on my iPod. I had it and I was like 12 and it scared the fuck out of me. <sighs> it was coming out on iPods? So you could play it on an iPod? I, f- I feel like I feel like it came out that long ago. I, I, I My memory is not too great on when that came out, but. GG, is that dude sure cranking like, off? <laughs> Yeah, what's that picture? <laughs> He's got something coming out of his pants. It's, uh, it's a ferret in the or pants, I think. What is going out of his pants? It's just some old oh, classic oh, uh, no, Game Boy ads. your trousers. <laughs> More fun than a ferret down your... So the ferret's giving you an age gen? Oof. Oof. Uh, Those things stink. Those things stink. Yeah, it has got to hurt, right? You would imagine unless you cover it in gloves. Yeah, if it's wearing gloves, maybe it could be nice. But if it's just bare hands, no yeah, way. Not a chance. Latex dude. gloves, a little bit of lotion. Oh, latex. yeah, latex oh. gloves. Yeah, lotion. Mm-hmm. Uh, night vision. Night vision. <laughs> yeah. Like it's doing a psyop down there. Black ops. Yeah, uh, black ops. Are you a big black ops player? Do you play any Call of Duty? Yeah. Yeah, I, I I haven't played the most recent Call of Duty because they kind of been going downhill. But uh, mm. Black Ops Six is supposed to come out in October, so I'm definitely getting that. Oh, cool! I know. Ever since mm-hmm. the South Koreans started putting their hands in those games, I know <laughs> they're grubby little hands. <laughs> I know. It's like we get it. Y'all have too many old people now. There's not enough young people. Don't take it out on the rest of us. <laughs> we didn't cause that problem. I didn't cause that problem. It's not on you. And then it's for the next generation to make games that are even scarier than the last. Yep. Mm-hmm. And we're let's hope they get pretty scary, but not too scary. Because yeah. I don't want to play scary. a game that's too scary. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Have you ever played uh, Outlast? That's like the that's like the original like console scary game. It's like a you're walking around with like a video camera and like an abandoned asylum. No, I don't that. think. No? I wonder if okay. it's on the mini Muu. <laughs> it might be on the mini Muu, yeah. Outlast? Be, yeah, you might be able to emulate it. Yeah, I, how do people yeah, do I that? I yep, don't understand. <laughs> I've played a little Outcast. I love Hey Y'all. Um, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I recommend that. I don't know if it holds up as well. I haven't played it since I was 
a young boy, but um, did you like Blair Witch Project? Oh, that was scary. Yeah, that was the first scary movie I ever watched. My mom made me watch it with her, and I yeah, it was that's very, a theme. Very Grant <laughs> made his daughters watch the scary mm-hmm. Batman movie. Yeah, the, the first or, which one? The, first one? <laughs> the Scarecrow, the first one. Batman Raza Begins. Ghoul. Oh yeah. yeah, the scariest Batman movie. That, that was definitely the scariest Batman. Yeah. Yeah, the scarecrow runs on fear quite literally. Yeah, and has those chemicals he puts in people's faces. Yeah. Okay, that, yeah, that was mean, a little fucked up. Put a smile on my face. <laughs> yeah, is that what he says? Put a <laughs> smile on my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the scarecrow always does messed up shit like that. Um, yeah. It's scary. He's got that grin. Mm-hmm. Scared crow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stuff like that fucked man shit dude well so what is it so what is it is it daytime where you are you got the blinds closed is it nice yeah i got them closed because it kind of fucks with the camera but uh yeah i'm in uh pennsylvania so it's it's time is it 3 30. <laughs> Ooh, you got big plans yeah. for dinner Come on. um i just had a cheesesteak i bet it's like an early dinner i have like an early dinner and then like a mid dinner and then maybe so like early dinner is at what two or two thirty? <laughs> That's like yeah, one. about. I'll, I'll normally like eat. I'll, I'll eat half a cheesesteak and then I'll go to the gym. And then when I get home, I reward myself with the other half of the cheesesteak. Oh, nice and probably some good protein in there. So you're mm, uh, you're yeah, mad, you're bulking, dude. Yeah, cheese, uh, meat, onions. Um, <laughs> you name it. Uh, delicious bread. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's a good way to bulk. That's a good way to do it. Carbs. Uh, and what's your guys' uh, favorite cheesesteak place in Philly? Gino's. That's a that's a tough question. Gino's. <laughs> yeah, Gino's. Is Gino's is <laughs> yeah. That's like one of the super popular ones. Oh, it's a real place. What's the <laughs> other one? Aren't there two right next to each other? I didn't yeah, know um, place. Gino's and uh, <laughs> I'm blanking good right call. now. It's a shot in the dark. Uh, you went to one of those. It's like a longer name. Yeah, I went to one. I can't remember which one I went to, and I really enjoyed it, but I don't know what it was. I might have went to Gina's after my Philly show. We went somewhere, and the cheesesteak was cold, and I said, it's cold, and they said, that's normal. I said, it shouldn't be. It should be hot. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> yeah. That seems a messed hot up. That's yeah, a hot it sandwich. should be hot, frankly. Yeah, it's a hot sub. It's a hot sub. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, I hate that. When stuff like that goes down. I know. When things go I'm not wrong, a fan of cold subs. Uh-uh. Unless it's an Italian. But even that, yeah. I want it hot. Yeah, I need my <laughs> sub heated up. Mm-hmm. Just a sandwich. You make it just a turkey sandwich, put a little cheese on top, put your broiler on in the oven. Mm-hmm. It's going to really mm-hmm. amplify oh, yeah. that What's sandwich. What's that called? Uh, gr- a grinder? I oh, used to work yeah. in a sub shop. They called it a grinder, like a cold sub, and you throw it in the oven. Ooh, I love grinders, though. Yeah, me too. It's also an app. <laughs> it's also an app. Grant knows. Grindr. Grant. Yeah, Grant. You're probably all up on Grinder with your wife gone. <laughs> no, we don't riff like We're that. We're kidding. I know. I'm kidding. We don't riff like that, Gigi. Grant, did your wife go on vacation <laughs> without you or something? Yes. Just a work trip. Work, work trip. trip. Work She's trip. She's been gone for a month, so. Well, if she, <laughs> if I hope she has a uh, life insurance of grinder policy. time. Oh, you know she's out there taking out life insurance policies left and right. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're trying to double the money. Yeah, because it's a business trip. Holy shit. Grant, no. I know, Grant. This isn't good. <laughs> it's not going to look good for you. Uh-uh. Dude, like Grant, it's good. Grant's getting a decent amount of uh, cash money. Yeah, he's gonna get a bunch of scrail if something goes wrong on a business trip. Oh yeah, double it. That's what John Benet Ramsey. That's what that was. That was in Colorado. Yeah, it was all a money grab. I know. I think her family got a bunch of money. They got a million cash. Yep. <laughs> cash. Yeah, business trip. They were just putting. She was putting the clothes on down in the house, and they were able to say that was a business trip. Yeah, they said it was a business expense. It's brutal. Some of this stuff. I hate all state. I hate it. Wait, so game, hold on, gaming mm-hmm. crew member, what do you think, what do you think happened to John Benet Ramsey? <laughs> who was it, the brother, the dad, some guy who broke in? What do you think? I, I, I honestly, I'm not too read up on the, 
what happened with that story? What would you guess? Yeah, what is your gut telling you? I'm going to guess the brother. He's probably really jealous. Good guess. Good guess. Yeah, I think that's probably a good guess. He wanted me in the pageant. It's normally like... It's normally the sibling, right? Normally. That's what they the say. Jealous, the jealous Usually. sibling, yeah. That's what they say. So is he that young? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Seven out of ten murders always look to the sibling. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's a, that's an FBI uh, crime statistic. <laughs> that's a Quantico. That's straight from Quantico. Yeah, Quantico. where was their okay. brother? Or where was their sister? Yeah, you got to <laughs> figure out where the siblings were. <laughs> thousand percent, sibling. I agree. <laughs> that's a good call. <laughs> Jodie Foster could tell you that. She was... Uh, Agent Starling. Gosh. <laughs> mm. Did you know she was a lesbian? I I didn't know that, but you know, I might be more inclined to. Have you ever you seen know. that movie? I don't. I don't think so. Oh my god! Silence but of I, the Lambs. You got to watch. Oh, Silence it. of the Lambs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What movie did you think we were talking about? <laughs> the that lesbian was the files? second. I thought you were talking about the one with uh, Jodie Foster from earlier. Oh. Panic Room. Panic Room. That's a but good one. Silence of the Lambs was the second movie, the second scary movie that I ever watched with my mom. <laughs> what was the first? Oh my gosh, Blair Witch Project. Yeah, that was creepy. <laughs> yeah, hiding in the corner. Oh my gosh, I hold on, Casey, it. are you okay? Sorry, I'm gonna have to put down a little bit more of this delicious. We should get what sponsored are you by, by noon. <laughs> 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 you gotta, yeah. <laughs> We got to get sponsored by Noon. Every day I do at Noon, and they are sports hydration for athletes like me who don't work out. So they kind of give me a headache, and I like it a lot. (laughs) So it keeps you hydrated, but be careful. Side effect is headache. Side effect, headache. Other side effect, I feel really good for 30 minutes and then kind of bad for four hours. So... But really good for 30 minutes. Yeah, really good. I mean, it's worth it. You don't have a lot of luck with uh, with like drinks like that. Where I feel like a couple episodes you were talking a couple episodes ago, you were talking about like a, like a CBD drink or something that was giving you headaches, or was that oh yeah the, kin? the kins yeah. yeah that made me feel like crap <laughs> like kin euphoric yeah kin euphoric <laughs> yeah. you guys ever get a response from that no we didn't have- which is kind of weird yeah. which is a little offensive you they would have thought have after the shouts out we would have gotten something we didn't even get yeah, you guys restocked you guys spent a lot of time you know shouting them out and he drank all every flavor I feel like you get something out mm-hmm. of it i had six that day mm-hmm. <laughs> i could i only did one and it was really good but i only, could only do one yeah. that was cool i can't believe you did six of i did things. six and i called my sponsor and i said dude something's up <laughs> I had six Ken euphorics today. And he said, stay where you are. I'm coming. And it's RFK Jr. <laughs> yeah, it's, RFK. it's RFK Jr. <laughs> is Casey's sponsor, weirdly enough. Yeah, he came that's via that's helicopter. He's cool. <laughs> I know. He, comes, he flies around in a chopper, I heard. That's kind of cool. It was cool. He came from D.C. But he gets you an you guys, IV drip. Have you guys both met him? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You both mm-hmm. met him. Yeah. yeah. Him and William no, were I, good I, friends. I, I, <laughs> I don't want to get too personal, but are you guys going to vote for him? You guys, you guys going to write him in? I'm not registered. I don't even want to admit to this right now. <laughs> Jamie Pruner, I'm not I, registered either. I am not either. registered <laughs> in Texas. I know I have voted okay. in the past, uh, but I am currently not even registered. Okay. Yeah, sadly, same old story for this guy right here. I'm not registered in Texas. I don't even have a Texas license plate, so I got bigger fish to fry. Uh, yeah, I don't have a Texas oh, wow. license yeah. plate either. <laughs> yeah. You've been here for three years. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're watching this, yeah, don't vote. Don't register to vote. Don't vote. It's, it's don't waste There's plenty time. other people. Yeah, don't waste your time. There's other people yeah, to go. vote. Yeah, get yeah, your friends to do get it. Get a milkshake or something. Get a milkshake. Voting day. Yeah, get a milkshake. Sorry. Ooh, yeah, let your freak flag fly a little bit. Maybe go to a mm-hmm. Dairy Queen. Uh huh. Get, get a mm, Blizzard. Mm, get a Dip Cone. Mm. Get a Buster Bar box to go. <laughs> oh, or Dilly Bar. Yum. Mm, Dilly Heath, Bar. Heath Dilly Bar. Oh my gosh, what oh my, did we I get? Just had one last night. You had a Dilly last night. Yeah. Chocolate or Heath? I grew up. Uh, cho- just normal chocolate. Heath I grew up eating those. So fucking good. So what do you do? Do you eat off all the chocolate and then suck on the ice cream, or just eat it bites? Yeah. I I eat around. I eat the chocolate around yes, the ice cream. Yes, correct. Me too. And then and then I start to eat correct. it. Correct. Yeah. Oh, yeah. goddamn right. Yeah, William caught me doing that. Yeah, I caught Erica's ass doing that. I, I do what... not approve of anybody that eats like that. So I did not want to hear that. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, recently that's just too good. So I'm just biting into those things. Oh, it I gets get my teeth too. cold. Yeah, 
I yeah. want one. I have sensitive teeth. I think I think that's why I do it. I gotta get my teeth like acclimated. I have sensitive teeth. I gotta get them acclimated to the temperature first. Yeah, I'm bad about yeah. that. We also we had something in the crock pot yesterday, and I was starving, and I freaking take a bite, and I know it's or I already know it's gonna be too hot, but I don't care, <laughs> and I take a bite, and it's killing the inside of my mouth, and then I just think I'm gonna swallow it. Oh, and then no. I swallow it, and then my fucking throat's hurting more than it even was before. <laughs> I'm like, why did I swallow that? I should have just spit it out. I was just so scared. I panicked and swallowed it. That was, that was the best of us. Yeah, that's a crazy gut reaction. I, I, I got to get this thing in me. <laughs> mm-hmm. It was so hot. Like your body's going to cool it. I've had those thoughts before, though. Oh, I just got to get it down really quick. Uh, It hurts all the way down. (laughs) Ooh, 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 ooh. (laughs) Uh, Well, do you have any insights, Gaming Gruner? Do you have any insights on who the mole is? Okay, what is going on? We're trying to figure out the mole situation. Again, we don't know exactly what level this person is at. I don't don't know. If there's a way you can, like, kind of, like, trace people's IP, I feel like the mole is kind of has like multiple accounts and is in each oh, one of the tiers oh my god so then, he's in every yeah. tier he's in every Jeez. tier. I, I have a feeling he's in every tier so he kind of like yeah well he's in all my tiers would... i've been sobbing about this motherfucker. <laughs> oh <laughs> sobbing around this fucker <laughs> yeah i would try to you know find you know somehow get you know grant to hack into each one of our accounts and kind of figure out who has the same IP. On hey, like do you think that accounts. thing's real? <laughs> no. It better not be. Right? Yeah. What is that, Grant? No. To make me sick. It's it's like, I've star, never, I've star never seen one. Mole? It's like Last of Us, the yeah. TV show on HBO. <laughs> Mushroom <laughs> Get it zombie. Off. It's cute. But there was that um, that that movie oh, from a long time ago. I'm gonna see if I can find it quick. Um, it has the giant mole. They all live in that underground city. Trimmers, you know what I'm talking about no, um, Trimmers too. Yeah, yeah. Trimmers yeah. too. <laughs> Shell shocked. Yeah, or aftershock. <laughs> aftershock. <laughs> That's where they evolve. I think that isn't that where they evolve. Yeah. They can start walking on two feet. <laughs> <laughs> they have the runners. Yeah, yeah. So scary. Wait, the, the are you talking about the descent? Where there's City, of the- Ember. Oh. City of Ember. City of Ember. Okay. City of Ember. <laughs> the Tom not- Cruise. Oh my God! No, I'm so. kidding. I don't think I don't know. <laughs> I think Tom Cruise is in it, but City of yeah, Ember I remember. Giant I came out in 2008. That's a a little bit of early. Oh my God! Everyone's having so much fun in this. Bill Murray's in it. So Bill Murray. Like, that's who I was trying to fucking think of. Yeah. Bill Murray. Yeah, he's like the mean mayor, and he's like, <laughs> no, you can't, you can't go above ground. And there's the what? there's the mole. There's the giant mole. Oh, they're like they're like small people and the mole is like <laughs> what is it like a regular size mole but it just looks I'm, big because they're so I'm, small is that the twist I'm assuming, I'm assuming it's a regular size <laughs> yeah mole. they're actually just really small as the twist at the end. <laughs> oh it's huge dude you were not kidding yeah, it can like barely fit in their fucking hallways and shit it's like <laughs> running around trying to eat them I, it's a pretty horrifying movie yeah, like we were talking about the bra- yesterday, the Brave Little Toaster. That's a scary. That's uh-huh. a scary kids movie. Oh, I've never heard of that. Is oh that my good? gosh, look it up! It's on. You can watch it on thirty-five millimeter on YouTube. <laughs> they have a thirty-five <laughs> millimeter version on YouTube. Oh my gosh! Please watch it and then let mm-hmm. us know what you think. It's a hell. It's the beginning of Pixar. It's so the hell of a ride. Uh, what's it called again? <laughs> the Brave Little Toaster. I cannot believe one. I grew up watching it. He it's wasn't the only uh, brave one. It, well, a lot oh, of his friends were brave, guy. but they weren't toasters. Yeah, I know. I don't get that part. I've <laughs> seen this toaster before. I've seen the toaster. The Brave Little Toaster. And uh, Phil yeah. Hartman is the voice of the suicidal <laughs> air conditioner at the Rest beginning. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. He R. sounds R. like Jack Nicholson in it, which is kind of fun. <laughs> it's a little... What's the toaster's deal, like? Brave. Is he, is the bravest bipolar? one, apparently. Bravest one of all. Yeah, uh, just they're scared. The 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 master. They're looking for their master. Yeah, they call him the master. <laughs> they they live up at his cottage, and then the master decides to sell the cottage, and then they have to uh, they have to. It's like a Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey, but instead of animals, <laughs> they're inanimate objects. Uh, 
So it's, I don't know. I mean, yeah. there's heartbreak. There's triumph. Triumph. Oh, tension. Geez. Toaster. Toaster. I'm going to watch it. To- I'm going to watch it right after this. Toast. Some toast. Oh, it's wonderful. It. Be careful. Don't watch it around anybody. You okay. might cry. Like, Don't watch like... it around anybody. <laughs> a little scary. <laughs> little too scary, but you can handle it. Yeah, man. What's your guys' favorite uh, horror movie? <clears throat> the Saw franchise. The Saw franchise, mm-hmm. one yeah, through Erica's for sure is Saw. I thought the new Saw Great was movies. good. Mine is Jacob's Ladder or a movie called The Dark and the Wicked, which is very twisted. I, I <clears throat> watched that um, a couple months ago, I think. Dark is and that, the That's... Um, What's the plot of that again? Dark and the Wicked? Yeah. Uh, well, it's about how the devil comes for the most vulnerable people who are isolated. <laughs> and it's a family in a farmhouse, and the devil is uh, devil comes for them. And the dad is very sick, and the mom is very um, lonely. And then the two kids come back to try to save the family. What does the devil I, look like? I do, I do remember. It's very scary. Uh, the mm-hmm. devil. Interesting. Well, the devil takes many different appearances in different cultures. <laughs> um, <laughs> he, I don't, he shows up as like a black shadow thing, and he, he's all kinds of different things in the movie. It's very scary. It's good. It's, or, a, sh- it's a Shudder film, right? Yeah, I think it's a Shudder original. It's by the guy who did I The Strangers. Li- I, li- I like some, cool. some Shudder films. Oh, shit. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> it's scary. Like Dracula. Do you watch Dracula? Dracula's I good. Rob's the Boulet seen... Brothers. Robert mm-hmm. Goulet. It's on Shutter. Check it out. Dragula. I will watch that. It's another drag queen. It's Shirley. a scary. Well, be careful. It's not only drag queen, <laughs> but it is scary drag Horror queen. Horror drag queen. Oh, shit. The very first episode, I remember watching it during the pandemic over at Erica's. <laughs> oh, and I swear to God, the very first episode, like all these reality shows, they end up like you have to go through like some sort elimination of elimination Elimination stuff. And I sw- <laughs> the very first elimination thing was they got these giant syringes. Needles. And they were putting the giant needles in people's arms. And I'm thinking, what am I watching? Oh, no. This is the craziest. And then the next season, it was like a lot more <laughs> mellow. But like first season, they were doing some fucked up Ooh. shit to stay. Of Dragula? Oh. Yes. Yeah, it's scary oh. drag <laughs> Scary oh, drag whoa. Queens. <laughs> What a niche. It's it on is. Shutter. Yes. Check it out. It is quite the niche, yes. <laughs> that is fun. <laughs> In mine, yes, I don't know. Um, what was that? Shining? No, what was that movie we watched that one time, Erica, that my buddy Cade told us to watch? Oh, I hated it. What was that? It's a classic with the lady going crazy. It's like a French movie, maybe? Or no. It Possession? Like, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know all the movies. Yeah. Possession, where she's throwing the milk in the hallway. <sighs> mm-hmm. Sam Neill? Yeah, Sam Neill. From Jurassic Park. Callback. Caveat <laughs> is another good uh, Shutter film. What is it? caveat oh very good i have the dvd yeah that was really scary uh, it was good yeah. got it at walmart yeah. <laughs> walmart has a deal with shutter where they sell their DVDs. i didn't know it was on dvd <laughs> they did walmart sells shutter dvds for like a month after they come out oh, you can grab one cool wally world yeah that was scary baskin baskin is a great uh like uh some sort of polish horror movie so scary. well what do you think about scary. that one i thought it was good okay but it was, it's very strange. But I love that um, scene with her throwing the milk. It's a newer movie, but uh, Barbarian. Have you guys seen Barbarian? I loved that one. Yeah, Holy shit. That so was a good. great movie. He smashed the head. Sorry for your head. So scary. <laughs> and it had what's his name in it, who I we love. We love Justin Long. Oh, yeah, Justin great. Long's mm-hmm. great. Yeah. Yep. He's a scream king. Scream creepy, king. Creepy, creepy. Yep. Scream king. Tusk. Was creepy. he the Tusk man? He was tusk the, man. Yep. Oh, man. I remember watching that as a kid. That wasn't a great movie to watch. How yeah. old are you? Yeah, how That's, old are you? That's what I was wondering. I'm, I'm 23. I, yeah. <laughs> Good age, brother. Not that old. You're going to live forever. That's when I got my first I divorce yeah, was plan. at 23. I know. Look at him. He's yeah. just streaming. William was married to a woman named Katie John. <laughs> yes. Johnson. Katie John Johnson. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Katie John Johnson. How long, how long were you guys married for? Seven, years. eight years. years. Oh, wow. <laughs> Got married at 16. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. It was a different deal growing up outside of Memphis. It was uh, Mennonite. Arranged. Old school. Yeah. Arranged. Mennonite. Oh, Mennonite. Old school Mennonite. Old school mm-hmm. arranged. She was a debutante. 
I was a debutante down at the balls down in the Delta of Mississippi. You did lots of balls, huh? Yeah, oh my gosh. Learned how to do the foxtrot. Learned how to... <laughs> no, you can't fox. <laughs> learned the foxtrot, learned the shimmy, learned all different kinds of dances. The shimmy. Uh, I live in uh, Lancaster. I got a lot of Mennonite and Amish people around here. Oh, yeah. They make great pies. I found that they make wonderful <laughs> pies. Hmm. Shoe fly pie. Ooh. There they are. Fly pie. Yeah. <laughs> is that one of the pies? <laughs> <He's just laughs> yeah, shoe fly shoe pie. Fly. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have never have you had shoe fly pie? Never. Uh uh-uh. uh. No. Oh my god, that's an Amish staple. It's delicious. It's like cherry cores, cherry pits. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what's in it, but it's so good. It's. Yeah, I think it's a molasses. I think it's a molasses pie. Yum. Ooh, so kind of like syrup. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Same, it's like same solid syrup. syrup. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. it's the same genre. <laughs> they're not, um, you know, they make great food, but they're not great people. <laughs> yeah, they were the like, Amish. The Amish. They had the Escaping Amish show on TLC. Breaking Amish. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah a lot. Of, a lot of that was in uh, Lancaster. Oh, you There's, know them. I don't know about a lot of it, but um, I know some of it was. Um, yeah, they run puppy mills, supermarkets. Pretty fucked, yeah. <laughs> Supermarket. Mills. Supermarkets. Yeah, they run a, yeah. a couple flower shops. Um, barn building. <laughs> yeah, probably. They I got, could build I your ass a barn. A, they my could car got hit it. by a horse and buggy once. No. Whose fault was it? It was It was their fault. Their, their, horse. their horse was going nuts. Their horse was <laughs> going nuts. And no. They were like in my lane coming towards my car, and there was like a, <laughs> like a steep <laughs> drop off right next to me, and I couldn't go anywhere. So what you like, do you do? Just right. slam on the brakes? Start yeah, going in reverse? I was going up a hill. The horse was coming down. So if the horse went right into my car, it would have went right through my windshield. <laughs> and I probably would have died. <laughs> but it went around <laughs> at the last second. And uh, the spoke on one of the wheels ripped out a huge chunk of my bumper. And they just kept going and running people off the road. Oh my gosh! Yeah, Whoa. They can build yeah. a barn, but they can't train a horse. <laughs> yeah, that's what they, they say. I mean, they, they say they don't treat their animals well. So I, you know, I can see the horses not being too happy. Yeah, I would hate to be one of those horses. Uh, Amish horse. Yeah, I, I saw. Him. Yeah. Oh my gosh! I saw a sweet so Chihuahua in the airport on Sunday, and some woman. Well, now chihuahuas have a soft spot in my heart because of sweet gator. And some woman's mm-hmm. getting off the plane, and I'm just watching them after I waited 30 minutes to get my freaking breakfast. And <laughs> this woman just, like, yanks the shit out of the dog mm-hmm. and yelling at it. And I just think, oh, my gosh. They're fragile little dogs. You yeah. can't manhandle them. Can't be sickening. Ma- yeah, sickening. <laughs> God, some sickening. Dumbass. <laughs> Brings a punch to my eye. Yeah, I'd love to lay them out. <laughs> Why I oughta? That does yeah. make me mad. But yeah, that dog. Insanity. That dog didn't ask for that woman as a mama. <laughs> What's a better mama? Like Stuart Little never had a family, but he got one. Well, he found one. Sometimes know. that happens. Sometimes there is a silver lining in life. Yeah. Sometimes there is a family waiting for you. Sometimes anything can be a family, right, Gaming Crooner? Because yours is in the hospital. Yours is yeah. sick. <laughs> yeah, they were beat up by natives. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but maybe there's another family out there waiting for you. Yeah, one that you know hasn't built built atop of Native American land. Exactly. Yeah, you'll figure it out. Learn their lesson. <laughs> yeah, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Well, Gaming Crooner, it's wonderful to talk with you Our today. guest today. Thank you yeah, for being the yeah. guest. Yeah, I'm glad I got to talk to you guys. 30 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, of course. What is he on, Twitch? Yeah, where can people find you on uh, Twitch? Yeah, I mean, I I don't have many, I don't have like a following or anything, but I'm on TikTok and Twitch. Tell um, us. Yeah, Tell somebody uh, that want to watch you play it's just, Fortnite. It's just, it's just the Gaming Crooner on Twitch and the gaming crooner on TikTok. Are you going to be playing Amanda the Adventurer 2 when it's out? Uh, you know, I haven't heard of that game, but you know, I can I can give it a try. Perfect. What about Pajama Sam? Uh, Pajama Sam, I haven't played that either. No. You should play Pajama Has that Sam. Already- we'll watch okay. if you play right. our games. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll do that. Our rules. Pajama <laughs> Pajama Sam and <laughs> You can yeah. start with Amanda Adventurer 1. Then yeah, we'll work up to Pajama sure. Sam, then Carmen San Diego. RPGs yes. or like first person shooters or. Um, 
TikTok games. Mm, pajama Sam is a game for little kids to play on the computer where he's trying to go to night at night night and he gets stuck in the wall because in a dream world. Ooh, that actually sounds <laughs> oh, good. Scary. <laughs> sounds awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, okay, a, I'll give those a try. He's in his PJs. Yeah, it's fun. Well, we love you. Thank you guys. You're so funny. <laughs> I love you guys too. Casey, I'll see you on Friday. Oh, I'm yeah. super excited. He'll bring you a sandwich. I'll see you on Friday. Come talk to me after the show. I'll be hanging out. I'll talk to everyone. Awesome. Hell Thank yeah. you guys so much. Nice I appreciate it a lot. Yeah, see you, man. nice meeting you guys. Fun talking to you. Bye. Gaming crewmaner. Oh my gosh. Uh, no. And it scares me a little. I didn't even think about the person could be on. He could be the mole on all levels. <laughs> he could be. <gasps> it's him. He could be the mole. Oh my god! Listen to him laugh. It's boy. like when the murderer shows up at the funeral. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know who yeah. the mole could be. He could have different <laughs> accounts, and he's logging out. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to think about it. I trusted him with my life. <clears throat> well, you can interrogate him when you see him. I think I will. Pat him down. Yeah, see if he's wearing down. a wire. Make him flash his stomach. Yeah, pat him down. Show me your waistline. <laughs> now, Game and Gruner, now. <laughs> All right, well, that was fun. Met the gaming crooner. Couldn't believe it. That was fun. Well, we had a pretty funny day. Real fun day. Two days in a row. I know. Two bangers back to back. Who would have thunk? See Who you tomorrow. Uh, hold up. Let's let me put up three. the. Let me put up the thing. One more. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing ten pods in ten days. <laughs> uh, there we go. <laughs> Sat rack. <laughs> Snow Roach. That's a new one. Gaming crooner just spoke Tony Chen. Tweet the Freak, Gator, Vicious McFisty. That's a quite <laughs> the name. I love it. White Magic with the K. Ooh. Mm-hmm. William Gearin. Well, Whiplash, is that Anthony Whiplash Martinson? I think so. I think that is. <laughs> I, can, I remember the name. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Sean King. Ashley man, Ash- <laughs> Ashley Belfield. That those noons are fucking me up. Big rig 0485. Love it with the numbers. Bronson poo his pants. Love the name. <laughs> Danja Fox Hawaii. Dank foe. Destiny A Ford, one of our oldest friends. Mm-hmm. Doctor P Dugan. Dylan Lysorhika. Eli Slugworth. R A I guy. Gary Gay Boobs and Gary Schwebus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to think that's the same Gary. That might be the mole. The mole. <laughs> that's yeah. the fucking mole. Someone look into that. Jay Dizzy, Jenny J. Ooh, Joe Kive, Josiah M. Justin Threckle, Dr. Threckle's kid, we think. We are almost positive. Captain Chaos, scary name. Yeah, that sounds like a super villain. That pisses me off. Kyle, Heath, Larry, Larry. do not think. Tell Larry to change Long it dong, to something ding else. Dong. That's a mouthful. Dong, dong, ding, Punky dong. Johnson. Punky Johnson from SNL. <laughs> Rachel <laughs> O'Donnell. O'Donnell. Richard Gonzalez. Richard. Shaney Shane. Sunny in Kaya, and of course, calling it back, Satrak. <laughs> cool. Well, it's been a pleasure. It has, as always. Stay true to yourself. Yeah, stay, stay true, true to, to yourself. yourself, guys. What is the gu- <laughs> Yeah. Stay true to yourself. You are loved. You are loved. You are worth it. And we can't wait to meet again. Yes. <laughs> Someday. Someday. Soon. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of The William Montgomery Show. Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to the William Montgomery Show at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737-471-1098. And never miss an episode of The William Montgomery Show by subscribing to The William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and check him out live at the Comedy Mothership in Austin, Texas every Monday night. Find more of me, Casey Rocket, at patreon.com slash Casey Rocket. 
follow me on Instagram at Casey Rocket. This episode of The William Montgomery Show was recorded at Record ATX Studios right here in the heart of Austin, Texas. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery. The anthem is sung by William Montgomery. The drums are sung by William Montgomery. The words are sung by William Montgomery. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh, the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.